I'm Dr. Frida, and today I'm going to give you nine depression symptoms and warning signs that you should know. Feeling sad and feeling a little down are emotions that we all experience occasionally. But when this sadness and this grief become long lasting and start to affect your everyday life, it could be an indication that you have depression. Depression is the most common mental health condition seen by primary care physicians, yet due to the stigma, many people who are feeling symptoms of depression don't seek the help that they need. And untreated depression can lead to a multitude of problems. It can literally be life or death. So today, I'm going to give you nine depression symptoms and warning signs that you should never ignore. Keep watching. I'm Dr. Frida. I'm a triple board certified MD, and today I'm going to give you nine warning signs of depression. If you have not done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you know when I'm releasing new medical videos. Question. How many of you have dealt with symptoms of depression? Please comment down below and share with us the tools that you have used for coping. Warning sign number one, sleep disturbance. Having a change in your sleeping patterns can be a warning sign of depression. Now this can be insomnia, where you're not able to fall asleep or you're not able to stay asleep for long periods of time. Or it can be hypersomnia, where you're sleeping for long hours, many more hours than you normally do. So sleeping too much or sleeping too little can be a warning sign of depression. Warning sign number two, a change of appetite. A change of appetite leading to Unintentional weight gain or unintentional weight loss can also be a warning sign of depression. So you may find yourself eating in excess, trying to comfort yourself for feeling depression, or you may find that you have no appetite at all. Either way, a change of appetite can be a warning sign of depression. Number three, loss of interest. If you or a loved one is experiencing a loss of interest and in things that you normally liked to do, things that normally gave you pleasure, all of a sudden you have no interest, well, it could be a warning sign of depression. For example, if you are someone who loves sports, you live for watching sports, but all of a sudden, yeah, sports don't make you happy. Or if you're a person who loves to dance or play the guitar, or if you like to play piano, or if you're a painter, and all of a sudden these things just give you no pleasure at all, then this loss of interest and this inability to find joy in things that normally gave you joy could be a warning sign of depression. And for parents, you really want to make sure that you pay attention to your children, especially your teenagers, because if they all of a sudden have lost interest in things that normally gave them joy, it could be a warning sign of depression in them. Also, look at a change of teenager habits. If they have a certain group of friends who have common interests, but all of a sudden they get a totally different group of friends and it really doesn't seem to make sense to you, pay attention. It could be a warning sign of depression. Number four, irritability or unwarranted emotional outbursts. People who are depressed tend to be very irritable. Things that seem minimal that normally would not have bothered them, things that would not have gotten on their nerves, will all of a sudden make them very bothered, very irritable, and it can lead to unwarranted emotional outbursts. They can develop anger management issues where things that you think typically would not upset them all of a sudden have them screaming or lashing out, angry outbursts. And it can also be emotional in other ways. They could cry more easily. Things that you normally think would not upset them or lead them to tears can cause them to cry. They can become much more emotional in a way that doesn't always seem warranted based on that person's baseline. So if you or a loved one is experiencing irritability and unwarranted emotional outbursts, it could be a sign of depression. Number five, anxiety. 
Anxiety can be a sign of depression. Be sure to watch my YouTube video on five types of anxiety disorders after you finish watching this video. Number six, lack of focus or difficulty concentrating can also be a symptom of depression. If you find that you are having difficulty concentrating, if you're not able to complete tasks at work or tasks at school the way you normally would have, or if you're seeing this in a loved one, this too could be a symptom of depression. Also, if you find yourself being more forgetful, not being able to remember or concentrate on things that are important, it could be a symptom of depression. Number seven, substance abuse. If you find yourself drinking more alcohol than normal, if you're drinking excessively, or if you're doing drugs and you're basically trying to numb emotional pain, this also can be a warning sign of depression. Number eight, poor hygiene. Poor hygiene can certainly be a sign of depression. If you know of a loved one who normally has pristine hygiene, hair is always combed, teeth brushed, they always smell fresh, clothes neat in a certain way. If all of a sudden they're disheveled, not wanting to shower, they don't care about their appearance, this can be a symptom of depression. Warning sign of depression number nine, preoccupation with being victimized or even a preoccupation with one's own mortality or death. If you have a loved one who is constantly talking about being victimized, no matter what the scenario, they're always a victim. People are after them. People are trying to hurt them. They're always on the bottom of the totem pole. Woe is me. If you're noticing more and more of that in your friend or your loved one's behavior, it could certainly be a warning sign of depression. Or if you have a friend or a loved one who is developing a preoccupation with his or her own mortality or death, if they're saying things like, this world would be a better place if I weren't here, or you guys are gonna miss me when I'm gone, or if they're constantly talking about death or life without them in it, then this could be a major warning sign of depression. These are just some of many warning signs of depression. If you are experiencing any of these signs or symptoms, or if you have a friend or a loved one who's experiencing them, please, please reach out to your doctor or call a counselor or psychiatrist if you already have one. If you feel like you are in crisis, and certainly if you are contemplating harming yourself or taking your own life, please be sure to call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. I'll have a link of more information in my description. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please be sure to do so and to like this video and share this video with the people you care about. Also, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Dr.Frida. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching. And I hope this video has been helpful for you. Meanwhile, please do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frida.